Lewis has said we've got enough uh, good weather for Dan to go into his fullest place. The first maneuver he's going to perform there is the uh, half cubic. So he's rolled through 360 degrees before further 180 as he positions back out to our right hand side. You'll be able now to see the paint scheme in all its glory as Dan rolls upside down. The silver top side and the dark blue underside giving you a contrast there on rolls. And the red, white, and blue on the paper surfaces representing the colours of the four levels of Dan and of course a unique jack. Without the general support this year from Babcock Engineering and common aviation, we would not be able to have a display aircraft painted on crowd barrel roll. And this maneuver is called a barrel roll because the aircraft's going to fly a shape similar to that of flying around the outside of an imaginary barrel alive inside. As the wing lights come into view, Dan's going to continue the left hand turn and climb into a maneuver called the oblique loop. Flight Training School based at RA Mental News near York. And the short Stakano, or T1 as it's now known, is based on the Embraer 312 Stakano as the Royal Air Force's basic fast jet trainer, entering service in 1989 to replace the Jet Rollers. Student pilots who successfully complete basic fast jet training gone by the British Air Aerospace Hawk, which you'll see explained later. So the Stakano's cockpit was initially modified to make the transition by a little easier. Student pilots who are selected for basic fast jet training fly around 120 hours from Stakano through a nine month period, at which time they're taught and tested on a number of disciplines, including aerobatics, as you see today, formation flying, instrument flying, and low level navigation. And after completing the course successfully, students are awarded the coveted flying badge or wing from their man walk commonly known. Running into the right down building up speed for his next move, it's going to be a loop, however, a three quarters of it, after which point he'll uh, turn away off the wheel. Nice bit of blue sky there for him. I'm sure he'll be delighted to see that. And he'll now roll the aircraft away on the B axis, as we call it, to position for the next move, which is a stall turn. As you saw earlier, we've got a short kid for you've seen stall turns, and the aircraft does actually appear to hang mid-air as the speed runs out. Nice backdrop there for those of you with large lenses on your cameras. Having slew the aircraft's nose round using rudder, down to the hole in the birds will accelerate, and then pull up to anywhere to 5 or 6G, and bear in mind that the Scarlet is not equipped to use a GC, so this is all done just using sure horse and brute strength. Going up to the first goal, next move is a quarter close. Flight Center Dan Hayes, or Daisy as he's now known, was chosen to be this year's Takano display pilot back in November of last year, and at the age of 25, is the youngest ever RF pilot display pilot. Dan's also a proud member of the group of young RF pilots named Creed. When he completed his hawk training, Dan was selected for instructional duties on the Takano, and this process is known as being creamed off, hence his name Creamy. Demonstrate the negative G capabilities of Carlo and also give us a chance to see the striking red white four pins. And that now is just pushing around about two and a half negative G there, and it's not a very comfortable position to be in. This season, the Scarlet display team is raising money for the Royal Air Forces Association and the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. And we are down at the Staffy Park, and Dan will be down there later. So if you want to come down and ask him some questions, please do feel free. And if you depart with some of our goodies and uh, donations, that will be even better for us. In addition to support from Cobham and uh, Bagwell Engineering, we've also had support this year from ITP. Although based in Spain, they have a facility near York, and they provide all of the kind of second and third line of engine maintenance. And once again, I'd like to just say thank you very much from the team for their generous support this year. So, creating your necks up there, Dan's playing another stall turn, and in that position, using Canadian brain, to position out to our right hand side. As I mentioned, our on the news is home of 1SES, one flight training school, and the role is to provide basic fast jet training to all Royal Air Force and Royal Navy student fast jet pilots. This training is conducted by instructors from fast jet, multi engine, and even rotary backgrounds, many of whom have recently served close sorties in support operations in Afghanistan and Iraq. Once he rolls up, up 
side now is going to push the aircraft to achieve about 1,500 feet over the top. Having been experienced now to subject it to negative G, instantly pulling positive G, and I believe it does really make your eyes water. Nicely over the top there, craft centre for a loop. And the next manoeuvre is over the right steady turn, and this manoeuvre was named after the de Havilland test pilot John Derry. So he's not very nice in 1992, when the Havilland DA-4 manoeuvre displayed at the Farmer Air Show, broke up a high speed in midair, and this manoeuvre is named after him. Runway, we might be on for a new Ticado record today. Stop there. Yes, please. Follow the aircraft round. Position for a, using a reverse wing over. We'll roll the aircraft to the right and make it stay, I promise you. From us all of the 2011 team, thank you very much indeed and please enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for making it to town, of course. That was a tremendous display for the Royal Air Force Staccato. Meanwhile, Rocket's going down, Hayes in the Tano, just vacating the runway at the midpoint. Now you'll see him taxiing back to the east.